Hello everybody, it is me, Willow Loves Halloween here, and in today's video, I'm going to be covering something very special, but before we get into that, I would like to say, I know I haven't uploaded like a real Halloween video in a very, very long time, but I digress. i just been caught up with life, I've been kind of burnt out, but hey, I'm back now, um, this season should be a full swing ahead. And but last thing before I start the video, we are at 681 subscribers right now. Um, if we can get to 700 by April, I would be more than thankful. So if you guys could, please spread the word about my channel. And yeah. Alrighty, without, with, with all the crappy self-plug YouTuber crap out of the way, let's get into the video. January 8th, 2022. In the coming days before the 2022 Halloween and Party Expo, which is a very anticipated Halloween event that happens in Las Vegas, Nevada every year, showing off brand new animatronics and decorations, some being from Morris costumes, Hunter UVB Lightbulb came up with the idea of making a completely fake Halloween prop in an attempt to prank the Haunter community. He enlisted fellow Haunter Fox of the Dead 001, real name Juan, to help him with the project. After a little bit of brainstorming, they eventually came up with making a fake SVI prop, a reskin of Home Depot's 2021 Inferno Reaper. After a little bit of digging, Juan found a mostly undiscovered image of Inferno Reaper in SVI's generic wholesale backdrop. Now that they had their canvas, it was time to make their masterpiece. Later that night, Juan would go on a call with UV Lightbulb and conjure up one of the most notorious images in the Haunter community history. Using SVI's Flame Fiend mask, Juan would turn the yellow glow of the mask to blue and then stretch the face, making it more thin to fit the proportions of Inferno Reaper's body. He would go on to give it an arm with a lantern, some extra here and there, and then change the orange glow on Inferno Reaper to a blue glow to match the changes he made to the mask. What came out of this was a Reaper with a wicked face sculpt, ball coming out of its mouth, a detailed rib cage, a glowing gas powered lantern, and a long scythe. His ribcage, face, and lantern glowing blue. I may say, as a graphic designer myself, this is, image is like genuinely one of the best edited photos I've ever seen come out of the internet. Like, from the naked eye, you genuinely do not see a singular thing wrong with this photo. I do not blame anybody who has sold on him. They would deem the Reaper and the new image that they made Soul Seeker Reaper. That same night, they would send it to a bigger chat and say that he was new for that Halloween and Party Expo being sold by Morris Costumes and produced by Seasonal Visions International. A few people in the inner circle of it who knew it was fake posted it on their story and waited. January 9th, 2022 The morning of January 9th was a day that could safely go down in the books and haunt our history. Soul Seeker Reaper exploded. He was spread into every singular corner of the community that he could be. He was on Discord, Instagram, YouTube, and even more. As a prop, Soul Seeker Reaper was really well acclaimed, only being hated on by a few people, which is pretty good for the Haunter community. And the hype for him and his release grew largely, as well as the reveal of the entirety of the Morris costumes lineup at that used Halloween party expo. Now, word got out to one singular Haunter that Soul Seeker Reaper was fake. And at first, this Haunter was trying to go around and say that this was fake until he took back his word and passed everything off he said as a joke. At first, the word on this wasn't spread, as from several hours after that, the prop would still spread like wildfire. Then, a haunter would take some time out of their day to go and genuinely dig up the original photo that Juan would use for Soul Seeker Reaper. Now, I'm not gonna name any names, but the person who dug that up, you know who you are. That, that was genuine hater behavior, because you had to jump over so many hay bales to find this image. I don't know how much someone could hate fun, but you do like a million. After this, the person who end up finding the original photo would send it inside of a Discord server, and there, the authenticity of Soul Seeker Reaper would be exposed. I don't have any photo documentation of this happening, but I, as well as many others, can recount it. Shortly after word got out, Juan, the aforementioned creator of Soul Seeker Reaper, would make a post officially announcing that the photo was 100% fake and he was the creator of it. Kind of a bittersweet ending to the story, as I believe it was actually really funny, but all good things must come to an end. 
even if that good thing ended in less than 24 hours. Nowadays, I feel like you really don't see leaks like that anymore. Like, at least to how authentic that one seemed. Of course, you're gonna have like crappily edited props here and like crappy product keys there. But like, you genuinely don't ever see any fleshed out like leaks, like real effort put into them like Soul Seed Gripper was. I believe, in my opinion, that it was just a harmless meme. I saw some people getting really mad at Juan when it came out that it was fake, but you know. Alright everybody, uh, thanks for watching. Yes, this is the uh, kickstart to my old uh, Halloween videos. We're getting back in that style again. I know I haven't made a genuine video like this in um, about eight months, but whatever. I digress. We're back. Watch out for um, trans world videos because those will be coming next week. Wow. Okay, that's really close. I will be attending as I do every year. Uh, if you're going, don't be afraid to say hi. Uh, if you don't know what I look like, you probably will. So yeah, uh, enough said. This has been Will Loves Halloween. I thank everybody for watching this video. Um, if you haven't, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I know, shameless plugging. But yeah, anyways, um, thank everybody for watching. New Halloween videos on the way. Buh-bye.